Hey everyone, so uh, Goldman Sachs has finally launched their engineering campus hiring program for the 2025 batch students. So before we start, let me tell you three important things. First, we are going to check in detail how to apply for this particular opportunity step by step process. Make sure you watch this step by step process before you apply because if you go wrong in any step, you will not get the exam link. Okay. So many students last year did not apply properly. So they did not get the exam link. So make sure you watch this. Secondly, we are going to conduct free preparation for the Goldman Sachs aptitude test, the round one aptitude test. We are going to conduct the free preparation for students. So if you are interested for the free preparation, make sure you fill the form Google form, which we have attached in the description of this particular video. The link is there in the description of this video. Okay. And third, if you're liking the way we are updating such opportunities with you, then like this particular video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that next time we go live, you will get a notification. So now let us start. First, we are going to check in detail information about this program and then we are going to check the step by step process to apply for this particular opportunity. Okay. So the engineering campus hiring program 23, 24. So uh, let us check now. The registrations for the program have started on 28th August. Okay. Last date to apply is September 10. So you have to apply before that. So you have got ample time. Don't hurry and uh, apply uh, like with half information or without knowing what are the exact steps. So watch this video till the end. What is the eligibility? So it is a 2024 summer internship program and the graduation should be in 2025. So this opportunity is not for 2024 batch or 2023 batch students. This is only for 2025 batch students. Okay. You will be joining. If you get selected, you will be joining in April or May 2024. Next, the locations are Bengaluru and Hyderabad. Okay. Now, what is the process which is going to happen? So first you have to complete the registration process between 28th of August to 10th of September. Then in the mid of September, the first round that is the aptitude test will be conducted. If you crack that particular aptitude test, then they are going to provide you with a coursework. Okay. That coursework is to make sure you upskill yourself. That will be in October. And once you complete the coursework, you are going to get a technical test link. So in that technical test link, there will be technical coding questions. Okay. If you crack that particular technical test, then there will be interview in November. Okay. Fourth week. And if you get selected, if you crack the interviews, then you have to join Goldman Sachs in the month of April or May. So this is an internship opportunity and roughly the stipend provided by Goldman Sachs is around 1 lakh per month. Okay. There can be a chance that if you perform well in the internship duration, they can provide you a pre-placement offer as well. Now, this particular opportunity is open for all the college students and all the branch students. Uh, so basically, Goldman Sachs does not bifurcate uh, students on the basis of college. Okay, so uh, they have even not mentioned currently anything about the percentage criteria, the CGPA criteria or 10th, 12th marks. So all of you can particularly apply. So the main initiative they have taken is to hire top engineering talent from engineering schools across our country. Okay. Uh, next, let us check what are the details. Yeah, so these are the program timelines as we have already discussed this. Now let us check uh, what are other details uh, we have to. Okay, so now we have to follow the registration process. So for that, we have to click on register before that guys. Uh, see, they have already given us some instructions which are very important during registration. Okay. So they have told to select some of the options which are very important, which we are going to check while registering. Also, guys, there is one FAQ document which you can go through. Okay, let us check this particular FAQ document. Yes, see, which branch or streams are applications open for? The program is open for all the engineering students across streams meeting the eligibility criteria. So eligibility criteria is your graduation should be in 2025. Okay. Next, uh, would there be any flexibility in the program duration? The program timelines have been mentioned and we'll keep all the eligible candidates who have registered for the program in case of any changes in dates. Okay. The, what is the program duration? It is 15 weeks program. So around three months of internship, you can say this is the, these are some of the registration steps. There are some other FAQs as well, which are there. Okay. 
next uh, it will be a proctored uh, you can say the test the duration of the coursework is 3 weeks so you can go through all of these faqs and if you have got any other query then you can just mail them on this particular email id now let us check the registration process okay so i'll just click on register now first i have to create a new account i have to enter my first name last name email id again confirm your email id uh, choose your password confirm your password and click on these two check boxes and submit your registration so it will create your account first okay okay so once you create your account and click on submit you will land on this particular page okay now on this particular page there are some very important instructions which you need to follow and basically you need to select only those options as instructed by goldman sachs okay the first one is recruiting year so this you have to select 2024 okay next what position you are applying to that will be summer internship next what program you are applying to will be summer analyst okay so these three options i hope you have understood now one very important thing they are asking us to please select a location now guys this particular location is not about your uh location preference okay so if you check the faqs guys uh they have clearly instructed to select these particular options okay only select the below position preference options to ensure that your registration is captured so recruiting year should be 2024 position will be summer internship what program you are applying to will be summer analyst Please select location will be Bengaluru only. Don't select Hyderabad. Last time, a lot of students selected Hyderabad. They did not get the examination link. Okay. So you have to select Bengaluru. Division, you have to select engineering campus hiring program. And subdivision will be general. Okay. So we'll select appropriately. So location, we have to select Bengaluru. Business will be engineering campus hiring program. And subdivision will be general. They have instructed you should not click on add another. Okay, just go down. Are you legally authorized to work in India? Will be yes. Will you now or in future require sponsorship? There will be no. Click on save and continue. Okay, so once you do that, your position preference will go to green tech and now you have to fill your contact information. Okay, so here you have to put your first name, preferred name, last name, email ID, address, everything. Okay, and you have to click on save and continue. Once you click on save and continue, again, your contact information will be going for tick. And now you have to fill your education. So education here, you have to select your university. Now for university or college, if you don't have your college or university name, you can select other. There is other option as well. Expectation graduation date. I have roughly entered 6 May, but the year should be 2025 because this opportunity is only for 2025 graduates. Okay grade and gpa country of study will be india grade you have can select out of percentage uh, gpa out of 10 gpa out of 4 uh, there are a lot of options so you can select appropriately degree category would be bachelor's degree would be b or b tech also you can select if your college is offering you b tech okay and a uh, major would be your branch so suppose i can select computer science and it okay a uh, degree to not mandatory no need to select all uh, that only fill the mandatory fields and click on save and continue so education also uh, you have completed now skills and qualifications so languages uh, you have to enter so you can enter english so this will be fluent intermediate i would say okay you can add another language as well if required technical skills you can add all the technical skills which you are having. So suppose if I add big data machine learning, what is the proficiency? Maybe I would say intermediate. Then I can add another one. Okay. Again, I can select over here. Suppose I know Java. I can select maybe basic and then click on save and continue. You can add as many technical skills as possible. After that, there are some disclosures. Have you previously worked or interned at Goldman Sachs? This should be no. Are you a current or former intern employee of PwC, Diamond Management and Technology Consultancy? This would be no. Okay. Do you or currently hold or have any other held in pass of a position with a government or regulatory entity? This would be no. Okay. Do you have a family member 
who currently or in past five years has held a position with a government or regulatory entity in which they were involved in making decisions regarding selecting, procuring or awarding business to financial service providers. Oh, this would be no. <clears throat> Other than relationship disclosed in prior question, do you have a family member who currently or in past 12 months held any position with any government entity? This would be no. Are you a family member of a current prospective Goldman Sachs client or are you a family member involved in selecting procuring business? This would be also no. Uh, do you immediate family member have any other relationship that could give rise to actual or perceived conflict of interest? This would be no. Do you have a family member who reside in the same household as an executive officer or member of board of directors of the Goldman Sachs group? No. Do you have a family member uh, who is Goldman Sachs employee or do you have a, a romantic relationship or reside in the same household with the Goldman Sachs employee? So basically what they want to check is whether any current Goldman Sachs employee has got any particular relationship with you. So mostly the answers would be no. Next self-identification, you can enter your gender or uh, enter your race. So race, it should be Indian. So if Indian is not there, then it would be Asian. Yeah, Asian Indian. No military experience, disability. I don't wish to answer. I don't have a disability. Are you the first generation in your immediate family to attend university? You can say yes, no, it depends on your family. Okay, save and continue. Okay, now here uh, affiliation or upload resume. Have you attended any Goldman Sachs events prior to this application? This should be no. Okay, now you have to upload your resume. Okay, resume you should recommended file type is PDF. It should be less than 512 KB. It should have portrait layout. It should not be password protected. Okay. So you can select the resume here and then click on save and continue. Now the last part is declaration. So just click on I agree with the terms above and click on submit. So after clicking on submit, it is taking a while to get submitted basically. So it can happen in your case as well. Make sure you are well connected with the internet and wait for some time. Yes. So now uh, it will show current status of application is received. Thank you for applying to Goldman Sachs. Okay. So now if you have applied properly, okay. So what do I mean by properly? When you were selecting the preferences, these should be the options which we are going to select. If you select this, then you will get an examination mail. Just I would say one or two days before the exam. Okay. So, uh, Exam for the aptitude test exam is going to be in second week of September. Okay. Last date to apply for this opportunity is 10th of September. So apply before that. Make sure guys you share this opportunity with all your 2025 batch students. Very important things which I'll again repeat. We are going to conduct free preparation for all of you to prepare for Goldman Sachs. If you are interested for the free preparation training, then just fill out the Google form given in the description of this particular video. Okay. Once you fill that form, we will get in touch with you and tell you what will be the next steps basically. So we will uh, assign you the particular course or we will conduct live lectures. So all details will be given to you. If you are interested for the free, there would be no charges for preparation of Goldman Sachs now or in future. So don't worry about that. So just you can fill out the form for Goldman Sachs preparation and you can prepare for Goldman Sachs. So thank you for watching this video till the end guys. And uh, if you have liked the way we have shared this opportunity, make sure you like, subscribe and click the bell icon. Share this with maximum students and uh, join us for the free Goldman Sachs preparation. Thank you and see you all in the next video.